this tier list is not based off strength. It's based off what you should get if you're new to the game. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm gonna make a little tier list for new players in ABAO. I already put most of the four, 1 to 4 star character in here because you would get them anyway. Uh, so there's no like need for them. We're gonna check out mostly 5 and 6 stars. So Eugene Princess, pretty decent healer for the beginning. Like it's not about strength this tier list. It's purely what you should get early. She's a good healer, she stays a good healer all the time, so until you have like Tsunade or L, she's pretty good. Whitebeard, more like a tank, but not that useful. Uh, I forgot his name, but he has decent damage from beginning, same as Bob, decent damage. He has pretty good ultimate for the beginning, but yeah, I mean, he's a force, so his stats aren't that good. Tornado Girl, pretty good damage for the beginning. Uh, Madra, sadly, no real use. Uh, yeah, not gonna lie, the 4 stars a bit better than Rimuru 5 star. I really recommend getting Sasuke, so you can evolve him to Sasuke 6 star. Same as the 4 star Sasuke, because yeah, you can evolve him 5 star and then evolve the 5 star into a 6 star. Saitama, not good. Same as Orochimaru. All Might, get away please. Frieza is okay. Boo, not that good. Same with uh, yeah, Goku here. Get him, evolve him, and you have a easy 6 star. Cell, not that good. Broly, pretty uh, the best infinite character besides uh, Thanos. Gocho is okay, you can use him as a tank, a pretty good heal and damage buff. Now for me, shielding, not that bad. Good damage, decent tank, pretty good damage. Rengoku very good for boss events, same as, uh, same as Shinobu. Tsunade one of the best healer in the game. Uh, Batman, not that good. Iron Man, pretty good. Way uh, like good in clearing and story. Uh, very good because he can build damage up. So good for infinite. Uh, very good DPS. Uh, decent five star. Gilgamesh also good for infinite, but yeah, Broly and Eskner are way better. Hero Bob, uh, Hero Brian, very good for uh, the boss event. Clapman, decent support. Sans, amazing DPS. Uh, Speedwagon, decent damage. Dio, only boss event, so I'm gonna put him in A, but pretty good for infinite. Joe Mama, sorry, but you're not good. You're a bad version of Dio. Obito, can be used as a tank. Obito, boss killer, Kilua. I say pretty good for the beginning. So if you see him in a banner when you start, get him because he has good clearing and good damage against bosses. Good damage, pretty good buffer, very good damage, very good damage, and I use him for my own account for the beginning, and he's amazing, decent can heal himself so he can sustain good DPS but uh, not the best good support DPS very good DPS Naruto I say for the beginning he's like very good if you can get your hands on him because he heals, he does damage, he's like an all-arounder. UI Goku, I put him to the Goku's, pretty good for the beginning. Sasuke to the Sasuke, because if you have Sasuke 6 star, you can easily farm War 5 stage 1. And last, Jiren, one of the best DPS. And I want to say it again, this tier list is not 
based off strength. It's based off what you should get if you're new to the game. So I recommend playing uh, the Naruto boss event instead of uh, Jojo, uh, Jojo. It's easier and pain is like has very good DPS if you get him. And Obito is just a good tank. But yeah, just look at S and if you see one of them in the banner, I would go for the banner. Also A is pretty decent and if you're really new, look from E to B. Like if you just started and you watch this video and you just played like 10 minutes, try to get one of these 4 stars or 5 stars. Uh, yeah, I mean every 5 star has, is pretty good for the beginning and helps a lot in story. But thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.